Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> What is going on everybody flawless welcome to a brand new video and I really don't want to set this kind of trend in my channel where I just start talking a lot of negative things about games because normally I do appreciate a lot of games especially the ones that I've been covering so I did rainbow but I just really am really upset and I'm really pissed off at a lot of the things that are still continuing to happen in battlefield one and pretty much one of the reasons why I stopped streaming in general because one of the games that I really enjoyed streaming was Battlefield 1 and Rainbow and Overwatch just doesn't feel as fun to stream because a lot of you are here either for Call of Duty, Battlefield, a lot of you are actually here for Overwatch I just don't really have the time to stream it as much and it's not as fun when my friends are not online so basically the problems I've been having with Battlefield 1 that have pretty much led me to stop supporting this game until the new Battlefield comes out Basically, there is so many wrong things happening in this game, which they should have fixed a long time ago. One of the things is that when you try to back out of a game, it takes insanely long. Like, you guys can go back to my older streams, and you guys can see when I try and quit a game when I'm in, in operation, like I completely finish the game, it could take me up to like 30 minutes just to get out of there or I just have to close my game in general I've had to do it on stream before where I have to close my game just so I can start a new operations and it always happens with operations and I found out that there's like a certain gap where you have to do it or, or else it's gonna take insanely long and you have to close the game that is unacceptable this is a triple a title and it should not have something so stupid and this bothers a lot of people I'm not the only person talking about this there's a lot of people actually talking about this and it's something that always pisses me off another thing why do you have to hide weapons behind a paywall that is something that a lot of people in the battlefield community have been insanely pissed off about Luckily they made it up, but literally at the end of Battlefield 1's life cycle is when they decided to give us some free weapons for us to go out, do the challenges. And a lot of the challenges I feel are really stupid because it's forcing people, at least the one that I was trying to complete is the Annihilator, which I'll probably bring you guys a video about that this week, how to unlock it and stuff. It is so incredibly stupid how I need 25 kills with a pistol. Now a lot of you may be saying, why are you complaining? It's 25 kills with a pistol. Yeah, the pistols in this game are stupid. They all suck. There's not one pistol that is good. And if people start using all the fucking revolvers and all those kind of weapons, it creates a very toxic atmosphere in the game. So honestly, put 300 kills on my primaries. That will be fine. Just don't give me any secondary kills. Give me bomb kills. Give me something like that. But secondaries in this game are so useless. Other games can do the secondaries because they're actually good secondaries where you can actually get the kills. But in Battlefield, in a game where everyone's using LMGs from far away, you're going to get sniped easily. And a lot of the maps here don't really have much close quarter situations. And chances are you're going to lose 90% of the gunfights you get into. It's taken me so much time to get these 25 kills. It's ridiculous because you're going to get outgunned. A lot of people are using the automatico and weapons that will fire insanely fast at you. And they don't even have to be really that accurate at close quarters. And what are your chances with a dumb pistol? Really none. And that's something that really pissed me off. Also, another thing that maybe it's just me, but I enjoy being on the planes. If you guys have ever played with me and you guys are friends of mine, you guys have me on PlayStation and we've played Battlefield 1 together, you guys know being on a plane is my favorite thing about this. I like getting in combat and stuff, but my favorite thing in the entire game is getting on a plane and raining havoc and getting into fights with other planes and stuff. Normally, I've lost a lot of my previous fights with planes and stuff because I haven't really been that great at the game since I stopped playing it. But nevertheless, it's extremely stupid how if your plane just got shot out of the air, why can't we automatically have another plane? Sometimes the other team has two planes in the air, we have none, we have that disadvantage. Sure, I kind of understand it in a way because yes, we lost both of our planes and they clearly outgunned us, but you should allow us to get another plane then. You should kind of balance the playing field because when the enemy team loses they get a behemoth we don't really get anything sometimes we don't even get tanks so it's a very very unbalanced way to help the people that are losing and the ones that are winning we get screwed over so the chances of winning become way harder so the defense struggles a lot against the offense like why does the offense have to get a behemoth 
especially two or three behemoths in a round like give them one don't give them three that is insane also the weapons the weapons in this game haven't really been as good as they've been in like battlefield 4 well we can't really compare them because one's modern shooter and the other one is a world war one shooter but these weapons i feel like they're extremely trash a lot of them have very really bad hit registration i feel like it takes me way too many bullets to kill people at different ranges and i feel like the grenade spam in this game is ridiculous i mean i kind of am guilty in a way because i'm always spamming gas grenades they limited them to one which was kind of heartbreaking for me because gas grenade kills were the easiest in the entire game and I probably have over a thousand kills with my gas grenades. They're extremely fun to use, but it's also something very good because it's area denial. All you have to do to counter the gas grenade is put on your gas mask. I don't know why they had to limit them to two. It was something so simple. Just things like that. Also, how people in this game really don't play the objective. I feel like if you are a medic main in this game, you should be reviving people. I understand a lot of the time in this game you literally can't revive somebody because they're either under fire or you're under fire or they're just literally in a really bad situation where you're gonna die so I understand that but when I'm playing operations and there's like five or six medics right beside me and they're still shooting and there's nobody around me and I don't get revived that pisses me off and this game is supposed to be about teamwork so really I think they should have implemented a feature where if you don't revive people you should get like some kind of a penalty now they should be able to control that whether like let's say like a certain percentage of revives you should have if you play medic i think that's like the right thing and they should put kind of goals like that give us things give us this incentive for us to be able to actually revive people so for the medic since they don't revive give them an incentive give them something cool in the game where it wants to make people revive play medic play support play assault let's say a, one of the things to earn something cool i don't really know what the hell would be considered cool in this game because the progression system is completely trash let's just say that you're gonna get a calling card if there were any in this game let's say you would get a really really cool calling card if you got 50 100 or 200 revives i am pretty sure if it was something cool like that or give us a weapon everybody would be reviving everybody would be throwing ammo if you gave that to like let's say take down two three five tanks that's gonna get people to actually play the objective so by there being no incentive people just really stop giving a shit about this game the progression system is extremely trash and i'm just very very disappointed overall with this game i've played it because i just like the world war one scene and i really like my planes and playing in a team is generally pretty fun but just a lot of these things are extremely unacceptable. I hope they don't make th these mistakes in the next Battlefield, which is going to be Battlefield 5. I hope they don't do it, and I hope it's a great game overall. Let me know what you guys think. If uh, these problems are only happening to me, or if you guys agree, let me know in the comment section below. and We'll start a little discussion. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a dislike if you didn't. I'll see you guys in the next upload. Yeah, I need you to